the truth. How out there is it? Cameras and satellites are more ubiquitous and advanced than at any other time in human history, which has some scientists hoping this will bring a renewed energy to the search for unidentified aerial phenomena. According to a piece from Space.com, researchers are keen to observe these objects scientifically as, quote, rapid advancements in communication and information technologies have brought new ways to observe and capture these types of events. Scientific research in this domain has presented challenges, especially since no one knows where and when a UAP could appear. However, researchers have identified both Earth observation civilian satellites and Earth scanning spacecrafts as useful new tools for collecting this kind of data. Philippe Elaris, the primary force behind a new UAP reporting scheme, had this to say. The location over our heads of satellites is the perfect chance to potentially detect something. The evolution of more Earth-scanning spacecraft will stimulate forward-thinking ideas across different domains, including controversial topics, and why not the UAP research field? Kevin Newth, a former scientist with NASA's Ames Research Center, is teaming up with Alaris to utilize satellite imagery to detect and monitor UAPs. Next year, Newth will lead an expedition to monitor a region of ocean south of Catalina Island, after UAP sightings were reported there back in 2004. A webpage set up for the project states that the primary aim of the team's research is to hopefully, quote, provide unassailable scientific evidence that UAP objects are real, UAP objects are findable, and UAP objects are knowable. However, some scientists are wary of using the term extraterrestrial in correlation with UAP sightings. Ravi Kaparapu, a planetary scientist at NASA's Goddard Research Center said, quote, there is absolutely no concrete evidence that I know of that points to the UAPs being extraterrestrial. I think people immediately think about aliens when they hear UFOs UAPs, and I want scientists to not fall for that. Kaparapu suggested that scientists should remain, quote, strictly agnostic and have an open mind in their studies of UAPs. He reinforced this, saying scientists should, quote, let the data lead us to what they are. Still no word on the ongoing and never-ending search for WAPs, which of course stands for Weird Alien Paraphernalia. For an occasional piece about UAPs, but mostly gaming and entertainment news, stay tuned to IGN.